it is Saturday. I can't believe, you know, yesterday I said to Phil, thinking it was Friday today. I said, uh, and on Saturday, and he says, yeah, tomorrow. I said, it can't be Saturday already. It just can't. He says, well, I think it is. He says, you better have a look because you're having Benjamin. Anyway, so yeah, definitely, definitely Saturday. Oh, a bit out of breath. Right, so Benjamin's been today. I wish I could film him, but... Some people put the kids all on Facebook, don't they? I don't know if I've mentioned before, my, my son's not keen. Otherwise, I'd show you, because we had a whale of a time anyway. Uh, what did he decide to do? Oh, he'd got his uh, Paw Patrol and he wanted to wash him, but my, my cloakroom sort of toilet sink is really tiny, so I says, oh, if you're going to wash him, we need to get sink full of soapy water. So I've got a sink full of soapy water, brought chair up, covered flooring towels. Anyway... He disappeared off upstairs and he found that slide that Paw Patrol Control Tower, he brought slide down so we've been having a water slide. All toys going down into this water slide. And um, anyway, I kept eating bubbles. So I can't show you because you took him home, but I found a, a penguin. You might have seen it under me standing there and his, his mouth sort of wide open like this and he's squishy. So... We've been filling him up like a jug and he's been pouring water so we've had penguin slide and uh, he kept eating bubbles in in bowl so to stop him eating bubbles I'd fetch this penguin and then we'd got him being sick so, so as you see he's been sick now he's been eating these bubbles anyway so that stopped him uh, and then we've had target practice so we've had to knock all Paw Patrols down my um, he's filled penguin up with water and then I've been squeezing its belly and it's been knocking Paw Patrol all over, so... Just go and mop my kitchen up and then we're done. Anyway, oh, my arm's killing me. Right, so... Show you what I'm up to. It's early learning centre day today. Oh, it's a, it's a right mess round here. I'll turn it round and I'll show you. Right, that's a good view, isn't it? I'm collecting these. Right, we've got all sorts of packaging on the floor and stuff. And there's these bits here. So I'm going to take this in and I'm hoping that that jewellery is in here because you know them bits of jewellery I bought, I can't find them. Oh, I've just spotted them. I've just spotted them in here, look. Oh, right, I put them under there. That's good because I wanted to get them done yesterday and then I couldn't put life on me finally. Oh, so I'm collecting them a learning centre, so put that one off the floor. These were all under there. Right, that's a bag of mega blocks. I've I've done the uh, I've pulled uh, God what they call it in the night garden and all that lot. I've pulled them bits out and I've listed them, but that's just your random red, blue, green things. So I'll take them to the charity shop. In fact, I'll get rid of them so they don't cross stamp the over and so they can go down and into the car when I get a car back. That's what I normally do. You see, if they're going to the charity shop, I have a big bag in back at the car and I just keep chucking them in until it's full. So, that's Gabby's hat. Oh dear me. Gabby's hat. See, when your own kids grow up, you never, you never stop having stuff and then I add to it all this tat. Um, what have we got? Oh, ignore them. Ignore them. That's a tent. Gab's given me a tent in that, well, job lot of sort of car booty stuff I bought off. But there's a tent pole missing. Uh, which is a shame, it's one of the Our Generation Dolls tents. There's a tent pole, might turn up at some point. Random cardboard when I'm doing my packaging and I'll stick that under there. Stick that under there. Now this is what I've got to get out. It's a lead. Right, I'm going to drag that lot out and uh, I can't do that with one hand. So I'm going to get it out, lay it all out in there and see what we've got. We've even got odd shoes, look. And goodness knows what's fallen in the bottom of there when I've been sorting little bits out. But I think it might be time for a bit of a hoover up. Right, let's try this again, but with video pressed instead of photo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse my uh, appearance. I want to colour my hair later. I still haven't got around to it. Uh, I've got this Malin streak going on. Um... So I couldn't be bothered to do anything with it this morning. And I know some people don't even go out to take the bin out without putting the makeup on, but one day I will show you myself with my makeup on. 
I don't like doing it now because I can't really see myself without my glasses on. Um, so it's a bit of guesswork really. Um, but I'll put full slap on one day when I, when I come on and that'll, that'll surprise you. Can't talk about the wrinkles, but we can try and cover them up a bit. And have you seen, have you, is there anybody out there that's as old as me watching these videos? I was doing some work last night and I looked down and it was like, oh, good God, what's that? And your skin goes like crepe paper. It's lovely. It's really nice. Um, slightest pressure on it and it all sort of wrinkles up like that. And I burnt my arm. Uh, amusement said, how oh, have you burnt your arm right up there? I said, well, it, my hands are a bit useless sometimes. So I got a tray out of oven. And as I'm shutting oven door with my other hand, the tray spun round uh, and, it, and it hit my arm there. So, like that. And it doesn't hurt. Yeah, but your skin goes absolutely vile. So, uh, anyway, something to look forward to for you, isn't it? <laughs> right, I've got these out already. That's enough waffle. I've got these out already. I have another uh, rocket downstairs because Benjamin's took that down to play with. And um, when I thought I were filming, I pushed these out. So I've got a. This is a buggy, but it should have like a trailer. Uh, what was this? Uh, capsule on the back of it. Uh, but I don't think I've got that anyway. But we've got um astronaut dog. And I think I've got one astronaut. Yeah, one. Yeah. I've only got the one, so I'll put them together. Uh, I've got two buggies so far. I've got three buses. Um, and this one's not too bad. It's a bit dusty. It's a bit dusty, but they're a bugger to clean. Yeah, if you don't like cleaning toys, I won't even bother picking them up because you have to get a dry brush on it. Sometimes a hoover on it, and then you have to get uh, brushes on it, and not only the big brush, but also these. These are artist brushes, so they're long and narrow. So I'm going to open up some crannies because I'd have to sell that for twopence if I sold it as it is. So stickers have usually gone, but these are pretty good. It might even have been Benjamin's this and it's been stuck in garage. Um, so often the top tray is missing, all the stickers are rubbish. So yeah, so I've got three of them. One's even worse. One is you'll be like, eh. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I've got to clean it without getting it too wet because it, it takes batteries. So that's those. Found a few figures so far. I, I think he's train actually. I think he might be bus. Bus and train. Can't remember which is which at minute, but I think that's train. Um, we've got old granddad and grandma. Right, I got these, which are the these were all bought at different times and shoved in this tub. Uh, so I've, I've ended up with four playground pieces. So that's ready. If I've got enough kiddies. I can make a set up with that. Trying to find the people, they're so few and far between at the minute. The ch the charge shop can't be bothered to sort the toys out. Kelly even asked one of them for me over in Nottingham. She said, yeah, they, they just don't. They, if if they do get them in, um, I think some of the shops send them off to other shops and some of them, they just get rid. So it's such a shame. I, I can't bear the thought of anything going to landfill. Um... I hate it. I hate it. Right, what can I do about it now? Anyway, even my local uh, charity shop, well, it's like a, a, a big distribution centre, the one I took Philippa to, they put toys out. I don't know if I said it in the last video. £10 for a garage that's got bits missing. £7 for a house. It's not round. But they used to have a rummage pot they could get bits from and they don't even have that anymore. So, yeah, so these little people, are, I'm just having trouble getting hold of them. Somebody did send me an offer for a job lot and I waited about 20 minutes while I were working out whether it were any good for me or not and somebody had bought it so uh, I could have bought that and somebody else has got a set on but 
they often put that they're early learning centre figures and I can tell straight away that they're not they're, they're other stuff but, and they just think they are so I'll just end up with more stuff with my spares tub that way anyway if I were getting out to car books they'd come but obviously I've, uh, I have no car at the minute uh, no car um, I really wish I could remember what I've said on the last video I don't know if I told you Obi's car's broken down he's had to send for a part from Japan which means he's now taken my car uh, yes I probably did because that's why I, I cut it short into that video waffle over anyway getting on again I must learn to edit uh, we've got a cloth in here um, that is the jumps for the little Jim Corner set I'm looking for big stuff really this is the uh, tree house Oh, I've got a figure. One figure in there. The little tree house. That works. It's got no... should have a gate on here and a door uh, or a pair of doors on there and we've not got those. It's a bit sun faded this as well. So um, it possibly would come up with hydrogen peroxide but I've not actually tried it on these things. Um, and I would have to have the paste hydrogen peroxide to paint it on it, put it in a plastic bag and put it out in the sun. You know what they use for um, bleaching hair? Get from hair salon. But you can get a cream one rather than the liquid. I've only got liquid and I don't want to immerse it. Although I suppose I could but I don't think I'd have a tub big enough. Um, yeah, I don't think it's got any metal parts on it. No. Oh, it's got stickers though so... Yeah, it'd have to be a cream, so I don't know whether I will. It might, it might end up back at charity shop, that one. It might. You know, small stuff. We've got uh, greengrocers. Times two. Slightly different colours. Um, now that should have a um, quad bike on it. Yeah, quad bike and a driver. And that there. Oh, so this is grocery van. Got a little tub there come out. A little tub of groceries in. Uh, I've got one red door. And I've got some fencing. But no farmhouse. Um, and little fire engines and stuff. So that's that. I think that not sure if that's off train or not. No, it's not because it's got a pitchfork. Mm. Yeah, so I don't always know what they're for, so there's another figure there, so I'll put that there. Right. Next. Could end up doing just, oh, I've got a farm. Oh, it's batteries seem to be. Yeah. I've got the farm and it's got its doors on. That's quite rare to get one with doors on because there's the windows that fall off, uh, the doors at the front, and then there's. Oh, they're not very good. They're not, they might be on, but they're not very good. Okay. Uh, and these, they're sometimes missing as well. So, that's that, and, the, and it takes a little tractor. No, little, no, no little tractor so far. So, farmhouse, uh, vet, post office, bag full of Train things, you see, and your train things comes with a little, uh, there's a little guy drives about in a sports car. That's a zoo train. So a different, different thing. Um, Alright. 
Here we are. Note carriage station. See what happens here. Look. See what's in here. A Lego head. <laughs> I'll have dropped it and it'll have fallen in and I can't find it. Can't find it. Right, train station. It's got to be a train here somewhere. Right, we'll leave them until I can dig about. This clattery. That's train stuff. I've got uh, a bag upstairs that's got train stuff in as well. Oh, this is really cute. This is the um, like gypsy caravan. Yeah. And it's the uh, that's right. That's why I didn't list it. You'd have thought that would fit, but it's not. It's not wide enough, so I've not got the not got the thing for that. So I can't attach a horse to it. A bit pointless without a horse. Um, what else have I got? Another zoo train. I'm thinking I ought to start selling these with just separate things as spare. Um, train. So I've got more than a hat. Uh, gift shop. I ain't had a gift shop before. Don't make any noises. Oh, hang on, it takes batteries, so there must be something. Oh, it's on the top. No. That's been left that long, I'm doubtful. I'm doubtful for that. Not got anything else to go with this. This is the zoo for the seal and polar bears and things. Not got anything else to go with that. Uh, oh. Cockatoo goes on the farm. Oh, I've got one on it. Right, that's a spare. Um, little carriage that has apples in the back. So it's all a bit random, you see. That's why they've been left. So, so far, the only thing I can work on, I think, is something to do with um, Rocket House um, Playground. And I've got to see if I've got any pirates for that pirate ship. Uh, this is to do with Zoo, isn't it? Right. Yeah, so I've got Zoo. And I've got... Uh, Penguin, uh, polar bear, uh, monkeys, monkey sits in his little tree, so I've got those, but I don't think I've got the right animal. Yeah, so I think I better leave you there and come back when I've actually managed to get some sets together. Right, it's 11 o'clock, Saturday night, I've had enough. We've watched uh, Captain Marvel, I think it was. I love all that Marvel stuff. So I right enjoyed that. And then Phil's gone on his game. So I thought I'd just come up and sort these. But I'm absolutely sweating. So, might be nearly June o'clock. Right, what have I ended up with? This tub is going back underneath because um, it's waiting for more passengers or pirates or whatever. But it's not worth selling on their own. It's much better if I've got the figures for it. These are things that I might be waiting forever for right size vehicles to go in the garage or whatever. And I've got a load of telephone boxes and things. So I might sell them as separate or I might sell a job lot. But don't need that for doing my sets tomorrow. So I can leave that as it is. These are all my people. You see I said I've got Prince Philip somewhere. But i probably lost Queen now. Mind you, I can't find a horse for the uh, carriage, so I'll have to wait. got a reindeer, but I don't think that quite cuts it. Oh, yes, no, I've got a horse, but I haven't got the right uh, harness. So that's that little corgi look. And these in here, uh, these are all still a bit random now. I've got tiny little animals left. And massive penguin. I've got doctors and... Do you know what? I've probably got village people going on here. I've got... Um, where's the cowboy? I've got cowboy. 
um, I've got like a sea captain. Here, look. I've got cowboy. <laughs> Bayman. Oh, yeah, Bayman. Bayman, yeah. So I might look at that one day and see. See what we've got. That's uh, Prince and King to go with the big fairy castle. Not pick one of them up for a while, actually. Mind you, not as I've been to many car boots. Uh, I've pulled out anything that is train related into there. Sorry, it's a bit dark. And um, I've not fetched the ones down from upstairs yet. So no doubt I'll be able to make a good set of train. Maybe two. Don't know. And um, I know we've got one of the engines in repair truck. I'll have to find that out. Right, so this is what I've ended up with. So we've got Rose Cottage. And figures for this we've managed, uh, we've got Mummy and Daddy, uh, Daddy's on off, going off to the office, uh, Mummy's taking him to play football, and we've got, uh, of course, Family Dog and Cat that's asleep, inevitably. Uh, we've got the Rocket with the uh, astronaut and his dog and two uh, buggies. I've put the tractor back in the other box because I've not got farm animals or anything to go with that farm as well anyway so I've put the farm bits in there and I'm just going with the construction uh, digger because I've just got one I'm oh, sorry I've just got one construction guys that's that I've got a set which I'm going to do a fair size I've got both toadstool houses so that one opens up I've got that one and the one that has the lid on it and then in that we've got um fairy godmother and we've got some little fairies uh, and a little elf and I'm going to put the hedgehog thing in there and then inside there was the um, little chairs and tables so that's one nice little set uh, and then we're going to the fair we've got these three all fit together there's a uh, they connect just at the ends there so that they go on the end normally I would put pirates and stuff in but as I say I've got any uh, so we've got the three people tending the tending the rides and they've all got dressed up for it. They're really into the spirit of it today. It must be a special day out. Um, one's got dressed up as a little court jester. We've got a little pirate because he's going to be handling the... Um, did you say pirate? Pilot. Uh, he's going to be handling the, that, although it is rocket ship, but still. Um, and I've got a clown, so he can look after, he can look after that this time. He's uh, covered in gold paint, so I hope he's all right. Uh, here you turn around. Um, and we've got the little kiddies. We've got, he's run off from school uh, and come to the fair. And didn't bother changing his uniform. Uh, is that a boy or a girl? Don't know, but they've got an ice cream. Uh, little girl there, little girl in a wheelchair, and uh, he's got dressed up. He's put his posh jumper on, he has. Yeah, famous singer. And uh, yeah, oh, and the um, merry go round can go with that as well. So, so that's a nice set. So that's one, two. Oh, I've got this little one as well because not everybody wants to buy a big set. So this is just, uh, I found I've got the, the vet. So we've just got the little village vet and uh, figure in there. Yeah, so one, two, three, fair size. Uh, it's not a bad price on the. Bus, I don't know. Might have gone down a bit, but at least I'll get about 12 to 15, maybe, with passengers. Uh, tractor and uh, that. So, job well done. So, I'm now off to cool off, and I promise I'll try and do something that's not toy related for the next bit of the vlog, although that is difficult. Morning. It's Monday morning. It's quarter past eight, and I seriously don't know. I'm not going back to bed. I'm shattered i don't know why so i'm gonna have a coffee and i'm gonna see if it perks me up yesterday it was family day I did very little really uh all i did was the pet shop and the uh fairground and uh now i've just set up my ipad on the corner of the table to do um to watch carla while i do the rest of the early learning center then i've got six to package i've got uh, three items of clothing, a jug, connects, and a Playmobil police bike. That's it. 
not earth shattering is it for a, a weekend but there's something going out so I'm going to get these done so I can take those in the loft while I get the others and come down save us a trip so quarter to five no it's not it's five past two already uh, five past five and all the early learning centre is listed packed up as much as I'm going to do and taken in the loft so now it's time for food uh, slightly distracted today sister's been with her grandson he's so cute uh, my brother's been on him for two seconds he's took my personal blessing and my husband's off sick hurt his knee so it's going to be an interesting week and uh, then we're going to have some steak now that'll keep you strengthened I really should have tied these up before they got big you can get a a thing in the garden for, for the garden it's like a circle like a circle of metal with spikes and stick them in ground as it as your plants starting to come it'll grow through it and then i won't get this the laying on floor same with this one but not much i can do now really i try and tie them back i might break them off but my basket oh look my roses have come back cut all the grass you see i really need a gardener Seriously, I need a gardener. You need to spend a couple of hours every day in it to to get it as nice as I'd like. Never mind. Uh, my hanging baskets have come though. Look. Look. So I'm quite pleased to say I was late planting them. I'm quite pleased with them. Yes, I was very late planting. And they've survived actually because we had uh, a couple of days with rain, heavy, heavy rain. But it must have been coming towards the front of the house and it's mist, you know, under the gable end, uh, under the, whatever, roof overhang. Oh, I should know what that's called. Um, it's mist altogether. And I looked out the window and I thought, <gasps> baskets. Anyway, they've survived. They're all right, so. Quite pleased with them. Right, chips, steak and salad it is. Hello. I might have to do this in a couple of takes because it would be easier if I had hung everything on coat hangers. But this is a haul and this is a free to me haul. And um, this is close to me this. This is from my daughter and my prospective son-in-law hopefully and um, it's some clothing now my daughter Nikki has tried to sell on eBay previously and she's had some success she put some designer labels on eBay and I thought she was going to get the book because I kept saying to her if she gets some extra money for it you may as well do it you've seen me do it and if you get stuck here I am and what tended to happen is she listed it in about 30 seconds flat on the phone, a lot quicker than I ever list stuff. Hung them in my loft, she'd sell it, I'd keep me on her account and then I'd post it out. So, apart from listing, deciding what she was going to sell, how much to charge, because I think they're involved in that. So she had some success, she sold them. Anyway, then they'd all more or less gone, but the things that were still on there kind of fell by the wayside and disappeared off her eBay. Anyway, She's now having another baby, don't know if uh, many of you know, but I'm going to be a grandma again. I've already got two, I've got a boy and a girl already, and we've found out that we're going to have another little boy. And that's in November, so my daughter will be finishing work soon. Um, she's got a very good job, and her partner's got a very good job too, but every little helps, doesn't it? So I've said to her, have another go at eBay. You're finishing work soon. She works at uh, college, she's a lecturer, so she's going to be having most of the six weeks holidays at home and then after that she'll be returning to leave and I said, you may as well do it, just do it. Anyway, she had a go. I'm not knocking her for this because this is 90% of the people that watch these videos might have a go and decide it's not for them. Because it isn't for everybody, this eBay lot. And they decide it's more rattle than it's worth and they really can't be bothered. So, what happens then is, if you put word out, because we've had several in the family that have decided that they're going to have a go at eBay, and they don't like it. 
In fact, I must admit, there's days I don't like it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to put the word out. If you, if I'm not a very big Facebook user, but if you're big on Facebook, you've got lots of mates. Especially if you sell toys and you've got lots of mates that's got kids and they can't be bothered to sell on eBay or get up at five o'clock in the morning. Just make sure you put word out and say, before you think of dropping anything off at a charity shop, let me know. Like I did with Gabrielle, it was a let me know. So she said, come to my car boot, Grandma. So if you watch previous videos, you'll see. So I've had a look and I'll say to him, I'll give you what I would give you if I were getting it from a car boot. Can't give you any more because otherwise it's a waste of my time. I don't sell for anybody else. That, that just don't make sense to me. Um, while I'm listing somebody else's and getting half the money, I may as well list something of my own that I'm getting all the money. So, this one's free because I have said to her, how much you want for it? And she went, Mother. I said to him, are you going to be bothered to put it on eBay or not? And he went, no. He said, are you going to be bothered to put it on eBay or not? She went, no. So there's two choices. It's either going to the charity shop or I'm going to give it to your mother. And it was, give it to your mother. So, thank you very much. So don't forget, put word out and just say to people, I will take what I don't want to the charity shop if you'll let me pick them up and, I, and you don't mind me selling anything I fancy out of it. And, uh, you know, nice, good, clean, pet-free, smoke-free home. Can't go wrong, can you? So, I've got this big box full. There we go. Huge box full, look. I can't even... Uh, no, I can't even lift it up. So, it might take a couple of texts, this, but I'm going to try and uh, show you what we've got. We've got some men, some ladies and some kids. And I've got my cup of tea, as always. So, I'll just pull them out as we get to them. I might even keep some of these. Um, me and Nick have been similar sizes, so sometimes she sends me stuff and I uh, I end up having them myself. See, that's another bonus. Right, first one out, Ralph Lauren. We are cow. Which she told me she thinks is a concession where they used um, Ralph Lauren clothing and re commissioned them as other things uh, and this is now a cropped shirt so from a men's shirt can you see the fastened men's way left over right uh, it's changed into a ladies cropped cropped shirt so I might be trying that on so that's it I'll count how many at the end because you know I always count We've got a men's denim, I haven't even looked up any prices on these. Men's denim true religion. Uh, press stud fasteners. It's a extra large XLXG. Don't know what that means. Um, it's all branded. These will all have been from designer shops or from... Um, Department stores or wherever they get them from. So that's a really big men's shirt. I know these are quite expensive to buy new. And I think sometimes people like the more faded the denim, don't they? So and that's going to be good. So we've got a men's. I'm going to try and keep a men's ladies and try on. Right, try on. Men's. Uh, ladies jeans, slim next jeans. Some people probably won't pick up next jeans, but I usually get about a tenner for these. Um, 14 regular. We might put that on a try on. Possibly two short in legs. She'll have them shorter. I like to cover my feet. Uh, we've got a. Right, have I left? Ladies. Super dry. Really chunky. Really chunky warm jacket sort of cardigan with a big collar. If I keep disappearing behind clothes, I'm sorry. Uh, ladies. I was thinking of going live, you know. I keep trying to sign myself up. But I've been seeing people are having um, quite a lot of um, t 
teething troubles getting used to the new um, way of streaming and stuff so I'll, I'll uh, gracefully buy out, bow out until everybody's sorted it and I can actually find some YouTube videos on this Studio Beta uh, next 12 are too small for me zip front oh they're very narrow they've got the zips at the bottom of the legs 12 are I don't know what Sally call that when it's got the light worker jeans. They've got pockets on the side as well. There it is. You see my arms are giving in already. Oh, we've got men's trousers, black, just ordinary work trousers. Palm Grove. Palm Grove, large, 36 black trousers. The limited times that these lot, oh they're very wide, uh, the limited times that these lot wear proper trousers is usually weddings and funerals these days. And, uh, uh, ladies jacket, Dorothy Perkins, size 14. That's nice. Feels like a um, slug satin. Oh it's like a tuxedo. So if I steam that, if I steam that, that's going to look quite nice on Dolly. Right, ladies. Uh, men's shirt, Jeff Banks. 43. 17 inch collar. White shirt, cuff links. Uh, double cuff. The men's. This is um, right. I, I saw her actually put this one in the box, and when she put it in, I went, "You bought that." If you look at the rest of this stuff coming out here, you'll realise why I asked because it's absolutely nothing like I would expect it to wear. But you know what? That's one of them things that's probably going to look really nice on. It's like a holiday top, isn't it? So I best get cracking. Uh, and it's ellipsy. Ellipsy. That one. Don't get mega money for ellipsy. Not now. Well, I don't anyway. This is a nice fabric. Uh, summer dress. Elasticated top. Well, it's on a new look. It's got a sort of Ted Bakery look about the colours and that, but it's just a size 10 new look uh, sheared top sundress. And it's the, uh, what do they call it when it's short at front and long at the back? Is it high low? Um, quite floaty. Yeah. That's that, that will go. Uh, Ted Baker, we might be here a while. What are we on now? Ten minutes already. Ted Baker, black men's shirt. Right. I'll fold up after that, make it quick for you. Ah, oh, kiddies, next. Oh, I've got a picture of Gabrielle in this. She looked absolutely beautiful with a pair of tight leggings and her boots. And she looked marvellous. It's like a suede effect little, little bomber jacket. This is a trendy little thing. Kids. Um, another Ted Baker, size 6. Size 6. Ladies. No, it's men's. Uh, size 6 men's shirt. He's obviously loved this. So that might just like start low. And see where we go with that because the collar's not as not as good as I would like. This is a nice one. Uh, Ted Baker, another size six, short sleeve. It's at this point seeing these that we as well will probably come and try them on. But I think they'll be too big for him. Another men's martial artist. Not sure about that. They probably paid up for it at the time. I did say to him, 
when she said there'll be Ted Baker and all sorts in there. I said, oh, them were the days, love, weren't they? Now it'll be all light nappies and new clothes for kids every five minutes. Um, extra large short sleeve. So I made him laugh anyway. And what's this? Leggings. Boohoo. Medium. Boohoo medium. Mm. Like cropped. No. They might go to charity shop. Or if I've got a few things that might that I don't want to sell separately, I could do a bundle of that size, I suppose. Kiddies age six to seven. There's going to, probably going to be a lot of next in this lot. This one's George, and it's a little kid's penny. Mini Lex, look! <laughs> Cardi, size 12. That is going in my try it on myself. Oh, I think Nick actually took this from here because um, she fancied it when she came and had a look through what I bought. So I think I bought this at some point, probably on a 199 rail or a car boat or something. It's like a faux suede shirt and uh, she's given it me back. She says, oh, I'll never wear it, mother. I fancied it, but I'll never wear it. And that's the thing. If you buy things from car boat or stuff, I've done it myself. And you can't make your mind up whether you want to keep it to sell it. So what I suggest is, price at a decent price. There's no point listing it if you're going to go that high that nobody would, you wouldn't stand a cat in hell's chance of selling it. But if you're undecided, firstly, you can put it in your wardrobe and if it's been there three months and you haven't had it out, get it out and flog it. And otherwise, you can put it on a fair price and see. And, and then if it don't go, you can have it. I'm not the sort that'll list it and then borrow them. I don't do that. I make my decision first. Once I've listed it, it's not mine. It's got nothing to do with me. It's in the shop. Uh, this is a black River Island size 14. Oh, it's like a, an open back. Open back sweater. Which I find quite bizarre. If you want long sleeves, and you want a solid front, why do you want a cold back? Not very trendy, am I? What's that? A bit like short sleeve jackets. Jumpers with no sleeves in. No. Jeans with holes in. Nikki said, Mother, that'd look nice on you when you've got um, long. Uh, because it's really long leggings and stuff. Now at one time I really would have worn that but I don't think I would now. I never get dressed up. Very rare we go out. And if we do go out I put my funky trousers on. Chantel Tungat. London. Don't know. Never heard of it. Just a polyester top. We have Top Shop. Size 12, what is it? Oh, it's a clay suit. That's smart. That's smart, isn't it? Black, black clay suit. Hmm, I bet she looked lovely in that. There were some things that she was um, delving back in the box again because she, she had this good clear out because obviously they're doing her... Uh, new bedroom for Bean now so she wanted to clear some space as well and um, anyway they've gone back on her stool on her pile because she she said yeah but I won't get my figures back again same I said you might do you might just you know if you work at it you will and uh, it's a good incentive so pick your favourite things back out put them back in your drawer so she's done that if you're fed up with them you may as well get rid this is, um, if it's a US 10, is it 12, 14, probably 14, um, and they are 
like a pie crust top, I suppose you'd call it. Um, oh, that's what we used to call it anyway. With crop trousers. Uh, skirt, like a polyurethane skirt from Oasis. Um, a 14 pleated. I think with things like this, she's decided that now she's... Uh, Nearly. Now she's nearly 37 that she's, um, they're getting too short. I'm a responsible mother now, she says. I can't wear them. Um, we've got a pair of kids' trousers, black, next school trousers. Um, oh, Gavs look great in this as well, but this is too short. She's seven and they're now having to buy size 10 to 11 to get the height and um, she's she's not overweight. They, they said that kids are overweight or underweight or whatever and sometimes I think it's just right for them. They put a little bit on and then they seem to zoom up and she's just zoomed up to four foot four. Um, so they're just too, too short now and she's got what we call uh, well, no, I won't go there. Anyway, she bends over and it's all akimbo, so leopard skin, little dress. Lovely. She's just shot up, absolutely. She's a beauty. Seven to eight years. Next top. More school trousers. Uh, Like a little jumpsuit. I think this must be Gabby's. I mean, it's deceptive now because of how um, tall she is. I sometimes think that the. It could be women's, I don't know. Let's have a look. No, eight to nine years. See, it's amazing how tall she must be. Look at that. Eight to nine years, I don't fit her. Oh, I've got another one for me. Another one for me. New look, size 14. I've got, I'll have got. i show you some uh, another pair of funky trousers one day. And I've only got like a little vest top. Um, and there's a story behind that because Carla was showing one once and she said, I've sold this top and I'm amazed. Or I'm listing this top, I can't remember now. But she was amazed. Yeah, sold it. Why would anybody want it? So I sent her a picture of mine. I said, I've got that exact same top. She went, oh, no. So... This would go with it. This is a uh, gold coloured um, shirt, cropped shirt. So I think that would look nice. That's going on my pile. One to a winner. Uh, oh, 20 minutes. Armani jeans, slim XXL shirt. Very, very nice. Very nice, thank you very much. Do you recognise this fabric? Ted Baker. Little see through chiffony cover up. Another Gabby. It's from next. Lovely dress that. Yeah. Uh, Gabby. Baker by Ted Baker, age 67. Pleated back look. Look pretty. Hmm. Uh, little top. So I might do a little sort of bundle, age 67, because that's a George, that one. Oh, this is amazing, this. But this actually came, nearly came to the floor and it's one she didn't kill herself uh, falling over it. It's a George. It's a George sort of gypsy. Beautiful. Beautiful dress, that. Mm. I'm 
I might try that on her again tomorrow and see if I can talk her into keeping it. I'm having her tomorrow. She's coming for the day and then I think they're coming for tea so I think we might be cake baking tomorrow. I might not finish this video here. I might see if Gabby wants to come on making a cake but uh, we'll see. Uh, another just a little Gabby top. Nearly at the bottom. You'll uh, Mind you, I'm presuming any non-clothing people's uh, switched off by now and gone done something more exciting. Uh, French Connection, pinstripe. Shirt, don't feel like he's worn that. Uh, another little top, new look, size medium with tags. Cost her ten ninety nine. never worn it. Never worn it. I think she thought it might see her through a pregnancy, but... I think it's too small as it is. Uh, another one of Gabby's. Another little jacket. So I think somebody would love a little bundle from next with these jackets. and That one's an H&M though, but it's still nice. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, a little bundle with that and the next ones and things. We have another Ted Baker. Very similar. Similar style in peach. Very nice. These will all have been washed. This is an advantage of wet as well, of uh, asking your family and friends. Um, they usually end up pulling them out of the wardrobe, so they're not being screwed up anywhere. Little plaid tartan kids dress. About three or four more. Primark, eight to nine. Oh. That's nice. Uh, another next for me. What I might do is try them separate, but just put them in a bag rather than doing all my normal folding. Uh, and then if they don't go separate, I'll uh, do a bundle. Uh, and a Ted Baker size 6. What's it got in? Is it wool? It look, feels like wool. Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought you'd cut label out then for a minute. Um, nice. Ted Baker, size 6, maroon, men's jumper, 95% wool, 5% cashmere. Very nice. Thank you very much. Lovely. Right. I'm just going to count them while I have my cup of tea. Right, so I've ended up with 10 men's items, 16 children's items and 18 women's items which includes the four items that I'm going to try on for myself. So that's brilliant. Um, so even if I was like selling 14 of them, that's 30. There's about 40 items there, so that's fantastic. Now don't forget, this is my daughter that's giving me these so she wants to benefit her mother and um, it means a lot to her that she's helping me out because uh, we're not having the car not getting out to charity shops this that and the other but if you're asking around if it's making you feel bad that somebody could be taking these to a charity shop or something or you think it might be a better incentive for them to do this make a donation to your favorite charity or to their favorite charity or you might have a favourite charity shop that does you a lot of favours, they hang on to things, they let you know when the sale's coming on, or you're just a regular and uh, that charity means a lot to you. You can always add onto your listing that you're making a charitable donation and you can set your percentage. Um, I used to do that with books that I'd bought sometimes, kids' books, I would make that as a donation to Bernardo's or something. Um, so you can always make your choices with that. If these were from a friend of a friend, uh, I would do what I've done before, like with those books, make a charitable donation. So you can have that through your listing or you can take some money in. Um, what is nice sometimes is if you've got something for next to nothing in a charity shop, um, maybe you've got a manager that's really good to you and they point something out and they say, have you seen that that's just come in? Um, and it's out on the shop floor, it's all 
above board and standard but she's drawn it to your attention it could be a pair of Doc Martins it could be a Jaeger jacket it could be anything that she knows you're interested in it's nice to go back in and say uh, you know that thing sold it for 100 quid that is another tenner you can always do that so uh, you just do what's right for you um, but ask about ask about and see whether anybody's got anything that uh, they can help you out with some might do it for love some might do it for love of a charity, so that's up to you. But don't forget, ask about. Anyway, I hope that's not gone on too long for you, but I have decided now that I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to try and get this one uploaded and call this one a day. I know it's only been a few days sort of vlog, but that took a lot longer than I thought. So I'm going to wait and I'm going to ask Abs tomorrow whether she wants to be on the video or not, or whether I'm on mine's. And if she does, then we might make a cream cake or something, because they're coming for tea. And, uh, oh, we might be having that much fun, I forget to even film it. So, <laughs> I'm going to call it today with this and get this one uploaded. So, I uh, hope you're all doing really well and uh, enjoying yourself and getting out in the sun. It's absolutely melting in here today. I think this is the hottest I've ever felt uh, this year. So, um, yeah, melting. Right, love you loads. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.